Hey guys, welcome back to Best Pets. Like always, today we have another awesome video for you. But before we start, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this. Labrador Retrievers are fantastic family pets. They adapt well into almost any situation and they are relatively easy to care for. And this breed has been America's most popular dog breed for years now. Some of these Labrador Retriever facts may explain why that's the case. Best Pets presents 10 facts about Labrador Retrievers that you probably didn't know. Number 10. Labrador Retriever is not the original name of this dog breed. The original name of Labs is the St. John's Dogs, or the St. John's Water Dogs, when they were found in Newfoundland in the 1700s. After that, the St. John's Dogs were sold to Great Britain in the early of 1800s, and people changed their names. However, there is no doubt that the St. John's Dogs were the ancestors of the modern Labrador Retrievers. Number 9. Labs are used to sniff out cancer. Science is just starting to discover how much dogs can do. One of the most recent discoveries science has made is that Labradors can use their exceptional sniffing skills to detect illness in the human body. Labs can sniff out cancer and other diseases. They can also tell when an epileptic is about to have a seizure. And they can snap into action to calm down a person with PTSD that is having a flashback or panic attack. Number 8. They're the most popular breed in America. The numbers don't lie. Labs have been the most popular dog in America for nearly a quarter of a century. Labrador Retrievers are the most popular dogs in America because they are so adaptable, as well as many of these Labrador Retriever facts mentioned below. Number 7. English Labs and American Labs are really just different body types. English Labs aren't really just from England. That just means that they have the right body type to be show dogs. American Labs aren't just from America either. That just means they have the right body type to be working dogs and wouldn't be much good in the show ring. Number 6. A Lab was the first dog to appear on the cover of Time magazine. One of the prouder Labrador Retriever facts is that this breed was one of the first in many areas. For example, even though Americans have loved dogs for hundreds of years, it wasn't until 1938 that a dog made the cover of a major news publication. In 1938, Time magazine put a black lab on the cover. Number 5. Labs make the best guide dogs. As many as 90% of guide dogs that are trained to help the blind and the deaf are Labradors. There are several reasons why Labs make the best guide dogs. They have a great easygoing personality, they're eager to please, and they like to work. There's nothing a Lab likes better than being useful. They are also loyal, not aggressive, and can learn quickly. That makes Labs the ideal breed to be trained to help people. Number 4. They're outstanding search and rescue dogs. Labrador Retriever facts lists are full of outstanding abilities of this breed, and that still continues. Labs are the absolute best breed of dog to be used for search and rescue operations. They have an amazing sense of smell, and they can work on any type of terrain or in any environment. Number 3. Silver Labradors exist. The most popular colors of Labradors are black, chocolate, and yellow or golden. But those aren't the only colors that Labs come in. There are also Silver Labs, which are really gray. And there are Red Labs, which are a reddish-brown color. Number 2. Led Zeppelin named a song for a black Lab. If you're a Led Zeppelin fan, you may have wondered why the song Black Dog actually has nothing to do with dogs. That's because the song was named for a black lab that came wandering into the studio when the band was recording the song. After the visit by the friendly stray, they named the song after this black Labrador retriever. Number 1. In Pennsylvania, a black lab went to jail for killing a cat. It sounds like a joke, but it's the truth. You gotta be kidding me, right? 
In the early 1900s, a black lab killed a cat that belonged to the wife of the Pennsylvania governor. The NPR covered the story and how the governor had thrown the dog in jail for murder. The dog was given life without parole for the death of the cat and was sentenced to the Eastern State Penitentiary where he lived for 10 years. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more awesome videos like this one, check out that video on the top there, or there is an entire playlist there. Remember to hit that thumbs up button and to follow us on any of our social media pages. That's it for me. I'll see you next time.